Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Catasthenics here. So I wanted to share with you why I personally recommend trying to fast for a lot longer than the standard 16 hours with what is known as the 16-8 intermittent fasting method. And if you don't know about the 16-8 intermittent fasting method, this is where you do a daily fasting every single day of the week. And people normally fast for around 16 hours in the day and then eat for around an eight hour window. And this is the intermittent fasting method that I recommend anyone that wants to get into intermittent fasting starts with because it's one of the easiest to do on a regular basis that's gonna give you the greatest benefits possible for producing human growth hormone and increasing your testosterone levels and for you to gain the most optimal amount of benefits of your body naturally detoxifying itself as well. And as I've mentioned in other videos, is you can get an increase in testosterone levels anywhere from 200 to 400% as a male, and human growth hormone levels around 2000%. But only if you're fasting for longer than 16 hours. You will still get a boost in both of those doing 16 hours, but it won't be on the highest end scale of like 2,000% of human growth hormone and 400%. So by slowly increasing your fasting window from 16 hours and having your eating window around eight hours, you could begin to, over time, increase it to 17 hours and seven hours of eating, and then just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. So for me, I fast anywhere, the majority of the time, for around 20 to 23 hours. So this is maximizing the human growth hormone and testosterone boosting benefits that I get from intermittent fasting on a daily basis. And I wanna be increasing them as much as possible through this natural method rather than taking synthetic forms of steroids and human growth hormone injections to increase them because they have a whole host of negative effects. I don't recommend them at all. Intermittent fasting is the best way to naturally increase those human growth hormone levels and testosterone levels without these synthetic pharmaceuticals that are just not good for you at all and have a whole host of negative side effects. And they can cost a lot of money as well, but intermittent fasting is very, very cheap because yeah, it doesn't actually cost anything at all, which is absolutely amazing. And you can do it anywhere in the world. You don't have to have access to specific things that you need to be taking on a regular basis. So it's win, win, all around. So yeah, if you're someone that wants to get a very, very low body fat percentage, like myself, as you can see, I've got hardly any body fat percentage there, whilst increasing your muscle mass with specific training such as calisthenics that I promote on this channel and that I do on a regular basis, and that I manage to actually, yeah, transform my body from being a skinny, weak looking cyclist and runner to gaining over 10 kilos of muscle and having an absolutely ripped physique where you can see my V cut and you also can see my abs as well and you also can see like striations in my muscles and increasing the fasting time means that your body is burning its own body fat for fuel even more every single day so it's going to help really strip your body fat percentage down to an even lower percentage alongside the testosterone boosting benefits and human growth hormone helping with that as well but what i will say is do not calorie restrict because if you start calorie restricts with intermittent fasting you can get all types of insane cravings and it can really just mess up intermittent fasting because you just want to eat food here there and everywhere and you're going to eat loads of bad food and junk food that's not good for your health and helping you gain the physique that you're looking to gain and sustain long term so make sure when you are eating that you eat like an absolute warrior and if you want to get a rough idea of what I eat in a meal. I'm gonna put a link for a video here that you can check out, which I show you what I eat. And it's normally around 2,000 to 2,500 calories for my last meal of the day. Sometimes I do one meal a day, and other times it's two meals a day. So yeah, make sure how many calories you normally eat within a day, that you shorten it all within your eating window. And if you're someone that's not used to eating large meals, you just need to train your body to start getting used to bigger meals. So slowly start increasing the amount of food that you're eating in one time. Your body will adapt to that. And it's brilliant because so many people out there in the bodybuilding movement go from bulking to cutting, from bulking to cutting. But for me, I do what is known as lean bulking. So I'm gaining muscle mass, 
whilst we're stripping my body fat percentage down at the same time. And I don't do calisthenics, this is why my body doesn't look absolutely huge, but if I was to do loads of bodybuilding, then it would change. But yeah, I'm a calisthenics athlete, as I mentioned, so yeah, I look more like a gymnast body, which is what I'm looking to have because yeah I don't want to be really really heavy and bulky because it's just not going to feel that great and I don't think it's that healthy for you at all either but that's my own personal preference but if you wanted to gain a lot more muscle than I am and have more of a bodybuilding look rather than a calisthenics look then you just do the intermittent fasting alongside body building and just make sure when you are doing the intermittent fasting daily that you're just well well hydrated you can have black coffee as you want but with nothing added to it, it won't break out of a fasted state but I personally only choose to do it on water because I don't need a stimulant to give me energy that I don't actually have. And yeah, coffee isn't necessarily the best for us. It does make the body a bit acidic and it has a whole host of other negative effects as well. And it's not good for people that suffer with adrenal fatigue or fatigue in general. And I come from a background of that. So yeah, I don't need to be burning out my adrenals from overstimulating them with coffee, but it's down to you. If you like black coffee and it works for you, then do it. If not, then you can just have water and if you do increase the length of time that you're fasting for and you start to feel really weak and not good at all I highly recommend not fasting for that amount of time but if you're someone that's not enough calories this is one of the reasons why it can happen so make sure next time you do it you increase the amount of calories you're eating in a meal and if you still don't feel good doing the amount of time that you're trying to fast for then shorten it down to a length of time that you actually feel good with and then slowly slowly increase the amount of time the intermittent fasting for daily and you could increase it anywhere from around half an hour to an hour or even 15 minutes to so find what works best for you and gradually ease into it but if you're someone like myself I felt that I could drastically increase the time that I was fasting for and feel really amazing so listen to your body and yeah make sure that if you're not feeling good you listen to those signs and do what is necessary and eat if you need to eat and break your fast early or not and what i say some days yeah i do fast around 16 hours but the majority of the time i don't any more but the times that i feel that i should be breaking my fast earlier i always make sure i'm at least doing 16 hours and then i'll break it and yeah it is normally happening due to me just training a lot the day before and having a very, very busy day. So I just take that into consideration and break the fast early and make sure I eat a lot more food to actually refuel and give my body the food that it needs to function optimally. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you think would like to learn about what I shared with you today in relation to why I highly recommend trying to increase your daily intermittent fasting window to get even greater benefits with human growth hormone improving benefits that you gain from intermittent fasting testosterone boosting benefits as well and greater fat burning benefits as well and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis talking about intermittent fasting calisthenics healthy living healthy eating vegan plant-based diets as well and many other different things to help you go in the direction of achieving the fitness levels you desire, the energy levels and the physique that you dream of having as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise you'll not be notified of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day. So stay energetic, stay fit and go and get those gains. Peace.